In this exercise, first we have to draw strike lines touching contour, of lower value and abetting plane, and another strike line of contour, of higher value, touching the same bedding plane. The same process is drawn on the bedding plane dipping on other directions. Note that here, the arrow is not drawn roughly but it should be perpendicular to the second strike line of all the bedding plane dipping angles. This can be measured with a protractor like this. Now, draw a line A to be touching all contours and all bedding planes. Take measurement of this line and draw it below the map along with its height in feet and scale given. The next step here is, take the measurement of the perpendicular of the first angle and mark it on the graph drawn below from point A to the right. Here the measurement is 0.5 cm. Then from this point draw vertically below the line AB with the measurement of one tenth of an inch according to scale. Then draw an angle line from point A touching the end of the vertical line drawn below AB and extend a bit. Now, we have a degree. We measure it with a protractor like this. Similarly, the same is done for all the bedding plane dip angles. Follow the same process for the other angles. Just note that the direction angle of dip will change with the change in the direction of dip of bedding plane. For the starting point of the perpendicular of the second and third angle to be drawn in the graph here, we have to take the measurement from the map, from point A to the respective bedding plane and mark it on the graph. Then we can proceed with the step of measuring the perpendicular as done in the first angle. The next step is to mark the points of all the bedding plane with its respective height according to the contours by taking measurements from point A on the map to each respective bedding plane plane and plot in on the graph below. Now, we can draw parallels to the angle from these points of bedding planes to show the dip of each category.
we can erase the lines beyond the intersections of each bedding planes and then fill the areas of respective categories.